my name is Arav. And my name is Ava. And it's time for today's experiment. And this is probably going to be a cool experiment. It's called a rainbow explosion. Yeah. So for this experiment, you'll need seven cups, a plate, some apple cider vinegar. You'll need all the colors of you. You'll need all the colors of the rainbow. It can be food coloring also, I guess. And you need baking soda. The first step is to put the baking soda in the cups. We already did that. And the second step is put the food coloring into the cups too. comes from baking soda and powder already. Now it's time for the cool part. We pour apple cider vinegar, I mean we pour a little apple cider vinegar into each cup and see, and, and watch what happens. Baking soda is a base, and apple cider vinegar is a is a acetic acid. So when the two react, they create carbon dioxide, and then and then the carbon dioxide forms bubbles. And for the next experiment, it's going to be called pee whistle. And I'm sure all of you have used a whistle in maybe. Like in school, in your house, in some games maybe. And for this experiment, we're going to see a different sounds the whistle can make. Like here's one of them. And here's another. Here's another. So see all those different sounds a whistle can make? Okay, so the reason behind why a pee whistle creates so creates different types of noise is a pee whistle is, I mean, a whistle is an instrument that uses your breath to, t to change your sound it makes. A pee whistle is a whistle that has a ball inside of it so it interferes with with the air and creates different sounds. And this so this is why teachers and coaches like would most likely use this whistle in school. Like, yeah, to create different sounds. And for the next experiment, it's gonna be called blooming crystals. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty fun. For this experiment, we'll need a cup of water, some blooming crystal pack. And the scissors. So first, cut twenty. Cut. Let's see if I can open it. Cut one of the blooming crystal packs. Take the crystal cubes out and put them into water. Put them into the water. And, and then wait for three minutes. Yeah, about two to three minutes. Put all the ones in. I didn't let this.
Hunter's Grove. So yeah, see, see, I think this is a square. This is a rectangle. Yeah, they're very gooey. I think this is a rhombus. Yeah, and they're all kinds of different shapes. So if you get a chance to do that experiment at home, that'll be that'll be very cool. You should definitely try it, maybe if you get a chance to. We actually have a kind of a similar V close to this, and and it's like growing marbles. It's linked it's in the description. So if you want to go check that out, you, you're very welcome to. And then, just like the marble pebbles, the crystals are cross-linked copolymers. A polymer is a group of molecules that are linked together. And polymer chains are elastic and will continue to grow to a, to a certain point. Yeah, that, that's it for today. And please subscribe to my channel. And bye.